I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. With my boy Alfred, I'm Mr. Talaferro.com. Mr. Talaferro.com. Right now, I'm about to go to Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Just to see you with your logo on your mics. From you rock with Mr. Talaferro.com. Y'all go to Mr. Talaferro.com, it's going down. My biggest gift is my voice. It allows me to speak to the culture. Now, right now, you're turning up. On MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Thanks, Haley and Jack. The shooting death of Xavier Dobson sent chills across the country. And now his younger cousin has been killed in a similar violent attack. Police responded to Danny Mayfield Park right across from Maynard Elementary School after reports of gunfire. Between party goers and the occupants of the two nearby vehicles, 12-year-old Juwan Latham was sitting in the back seat of his father's Chevy Tahoe when the fight broke out. He was rushed to the UT Medical Center emergency room after a shot to the head. Just after 11 o'clock, Latham died from his injuries. The community continues to mourn the loss of the young individual. A candlelight vigil was held in his honor Sunday night, and friends from Bearden Middle School honor Juwan on Thursday with cards and well wishes before his funeral at Overcoming Believers Church. Knoxville police have detained multiple people involved in the incident. VFL Albert Hainsworth even reached out on Facebook saying that he will offer a $5,000 reward to anyone with information leading to the arrest of those responsible. Delandra Porter, Latham's mother, says that Jawan had dreams of someday playing in the NBA, and after dealing with the death of his cousin, Xavion, in December, he held an aberration for his cousin's actions. The night of the shooting, Latham attended the Bobby May Celebrity Game in honor of his cousin. It was supposed to be a day of celebration as Fulton High School played host to the 4th Annual Bobby May Celebrity Game. It was an opportunity for fans to see their favorite former Vols and even see, take pictures, and get autographs from a soon-to-be Hall of Famer such as Allen Iverson. You know, Bobby been doing some great stuff out here, and, um, you know, that's like family, that's like my little brother. So every time he do it, I come out here every year. Man, you got, we got a lot of stuff going on in the world these days, and, you know, giving back is important, you know, that y'all don't have a pro basketball team here. You know, so we able to bring, you know, guys in that they wouldn't normally get a chance to see. There's really no words really can describe the feeling, but, uh, you know, I just saw it. You know, when we walked in the gym, and some of those kids that, that, that grew up on AI, when I, when I mean grew up on it, maybe you two of them, the, the real young ones, because they wasn't out when he was playing, but the older ones, you know, really understand, you know, who he is and what he's still for on the court and playing every game like it's his last and, you know, we could go. You know, just got the word that he's headed to the Hall of Fame. And so to be here in Knoxville a week after that is huge. And, you know, things like that just don't happen every day. Not only was the game set out to inspire the youth, this year the game represented a bigger cause, honoring 15-year-old Xavier Dobson, who was shot and killed last December, shooting three young girls from a stray of bullets. As you may remember, the story gained national attention when even our president tweeted out his respect for Dobson. Now, a game that was created to give a community hope is remembered as one of the last living images we have of young Juwan Latham. Yeah, I reached out to Bobby Mays after the passing of Juwan Latham. He said that, quote, Latham was one of the first kids in line for the game, and to find out he was shot and killed moments after the game, no words can explain that feeling. He continued by saying that the purpose of the celebrity game was to prevent, prevent violence and to honor Xavier Dobson. He hopes to see that the community creates a safer environment so that, quote, bad things don't happen to innocent children. Back to you guys. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my interview, my performance, or maybe it was a feature story. Now, right now, you can either subscribe to my channel or you can watch other performances. Thank you for taking the time out. It's MrTelleferro.com. After seeing Drake's